Tonight, owners of the Old Nick's Hospital downtown moving forward with plans to transform the building into luxury apartments. Now, from the banks of the San Antonio River, the building reaches 24 stories high. Many units will boast a view of our iconic river walk. But as our Elisa Niaves learned tonight, the rooms may also come with some company. Alicia? A former employee of the Knicks Hospital reached out to us with a timely Halloween idea. If this historic landmark from 1930 is about to welcome new tenants, he thought they should probably know about the permanent guests. That was the emergency room manager. When Todd Terry learned the future of the former Knicks Hospital, he thought, what an exciting opportunity, if you like ghosts. If they don't have no problem with it, then they're going to really enjoy it. Terry worked at Nick's from 1997 to 2000. He said his first encounter involved a lady in white. She was a brand new diabetic and she had a lot of questions about her new medications and how to check her blood sugar. He said the woman was about four foot five in her late 80s, wearing all white, including lace around her neck. She would just stand beside me and wrap her arm around me and just continue to hug me. And she was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for, you know, taking care of me. He stepped away for a moment to use the phone. When he returned, the woman was nowhere to be found. I went to the receptionist and I said, hey, where's that um, patient? Where'd she go? And the receptionist was like, what patient? What patient are you talking about? I said, the one that was just here with the medicines. You know, she wanted me to teach her how to be, a, you know, how to do her diabetic testing. And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Was it an angel? He wondered. He wasn't scared of the ghosts until his next encounter on the elevator. And when I got on the elevator, I was the only person on the elevator. The elevator stopped on the fourth floor and I was on my phone. So like I was looking at my phone, but I just lightly moved out of the way so this gentleman could get on the elevator. He remembers a tall man, middle-aged, clean cut, wearing a three-piece suit. He assumed it was a doctor. We went all the way to the 17th floor. Nobody else got on the elevator. Nobody got off the elevator. So when the door opened again, I just kind of moved out of the way to let him walk by. And there was absolutely nobody on the elevator. And these stories are just the tip of the iceberg. The city of San Antonio says while current zoning does allow for apartments at the Knicks, these plans have not been approved yet. Should they get the green light, renovations should begin at the start of next year and finish up by 2026. Reporting live tonight, Alicia Niaves, Ken's Five.